We're back with Dr. Joanna Pioescu, and it's been two weeks since I had that issue with the gap in the trays, and so we're going to have a look at it now. Please subscribe and click on the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Did you find the elastics? So I, there's one thing that I did notice is it's easier for me to put the elastics from the front and then okay. go around the back. It clicks okay. on and sometimes I can do it on the first very try, which is amazing. But I tried it from the back and it's too hard to get your hand in your mouth. So from the front it was easy. I just clicked it on and then I just stuck my finger in the back and I could hook it on. So if that helps for any future patients, that'd be great. Uh, you can see here that the gap has diminished. Huh? I have to say it was a painful experience. Yeah, so um, I had some trouble eating as well. And I'm finding now that if I'm eating something like meat or anything stringy, it gets stuck in the gaps in my teeth because everything is moving. And I did have a question is, so I've got the same trays on for the last three weeks. And two weeks ago, we decided to put these attachments and these buttons and things to put the elastics. So it was only on the top, yes. but my bottom is hurting as well. Sorry, that sounds weird. <laughs> my bottom uh, a tray is actually hurting as well. And I, I've been clenching my teeth a lot. Mm -hmm. So this is a, another issue I have. So I think because the top tray is moved, and I'm clenching, it's actually moving the bottom tray as well because I didn't think I would have any pain in the bottom. Mm -hmm. So does that it sound could, right? It could be this. Okay. It could be exactly. Okay. But I'm going to take a look and we'll see. Okay. So you are going to continue to wear, to wear the elastics the way that you did, exactly okay. in the same way, and we are going to see each other in two weeks okay. again. And in two weeks, we are going to change the tray. So I'm going to keep the same tray? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay, for All right. two weeks. So it needs two more weeks because this gap is still there, a little bit. And you said there might be something else? Exactly. And maybe... We'll on this side as well. Yes. But only on the top. Only on the top. Mm -hmm. Next time we will see if we need to add an elastic on this side also. It could be possible. Okay. It's going to be from the back of your tooth to the to your aligner. I'm going to explain to you everything. So it'll be the same the same procedure as we did last time. Exactly. Okay. But it is better. It is but better. it it's probably because I have some of my teeth that are really strong and they don't want to move. <laughs> is that the problem? <laughs> okay. Okay. So I noticed that my trays are getting a bit yellow since I've had them in for three weeks and I've been told I have to keep them in for another two. So I've just sprinkled some, I wet them and I sprinkled some baking soda over them and I'm going to have breakfast now and then I will rub them afterwards with the rest of the baking soda and I hopefully the yellow will go. Okay, so I've just brushed off the baking soda and this one looks really good. This one looks really clean. This one still has a little bit of yellowing here, but you remember this is where I've got the rubber bands, so there is a gap there. So I think the, the Invisalign is stained a little bit more in that area, but um, I will just continue <clears throat> next time. I'll, I'll brush it again with uh, the baking soda, but that seems to have come out quite a bit already, and it's obviously where the elastics are. Okay, so we are back again two weeks later. So it's four weeks from the original appointment. And last time I showed you a picture here of how it was looking. And now look at this. Much better. I think I've closed up the gap. I'm really hoping that she lets me go on to the next, the next set of trays because I've had these ones for five weeks now. I think it's looking really good. And exactly now we can definitely change, Whew. switch to the next. Okay, okay. so what's the plan today? I'm going to first take a look, see yeah. how things are going, um, and if the other aligner fits perfectly, I'm going to remove the buttons. Okay. And uh, we are going to. So those are the two on the front and the two in the back yes. where the elastics are held. Exactly. Okay. Let's go. So uh, what we are going to, going to do? In fact, yes, your tooth, uh, the gaps are almost completely full, mm -hmm. filled. 
Um, now what am I going to do is that I'm going to keep your um, button on the back of your tooth okay and we are going to help this tooth it, it still needs to do a small movement we are going okay. to switch. so continue elastics yes okay in a small different way but we are going to change the tray okay you, so you're gonna put the button somewhere else or I'm going to make a cut in the aligner okay so you are going to have at the back the, the button, mm -hmm. and on the front, you are going to have the cut yeah. to put the elastic. So, you remember last time I told you that I felt like the bottom tray, even though it had been the same tray, I felt like my teeth were hurting and maybe I was clenching and stuff like that. But what I discovered is because there's new gaps in between my teeth and I had some food stuck in there, and I thought I had got it out, mm -hmm. and it and I found it. A long time later, I know this is really gross, but we got to talk about this. And that's why the teeth were like moving still was because there was something extra. And I tell you, it didn't take much, but mm -hmm. it makes a big difference. So now, even when I'm using the dental floss, I really like make sure it makes the right kind of like squeaky noise that you need that you know that there's nothing else mm -hmm. in there because it really makes a big difference. And I really suffered with that and I couldn't understand why after a week of wearing the bottom tray it was hurting after the week it where it wasn't hurting so that if that ever happens to you you know that there's something stuck in your teeth and it's still moving them around a little bit because it's like expanding exactly and maybe you should start floss but also using interdental brushes yes because spaces become bigger yes and sometimes floss it's not enough to clean yeah and um Right, and I, I feel like an old woman now and I have to be careful what I eat because it's going to get stuck in my teeth. <laughs> okay. What we are going to do, I'm going to explain to you. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to switch to for, 17. Exactly. Yay! <laughs> I've graduated! <laughs> <laughs> okay, first thing. Second, I'm going to keep, still keep the button at the inside of your mouth, mm -hmm. the top. Um, both of them. Okay, I'm going yeah. to remove both at the exterior. Okay. Um, we, you are going to continue to wear the elastic from the inside okay. to the outside yeah. on the aligner. I'm going okay. to make a cut. Okay. And I will need to add one more elastic on the right side. Okay, you did but mention last time that it looked like suspicious. Exactly. On this side. So where where is it a problem here? It's the canine. Mm -hmm. So the same thing, I'm going to add a button at the back of your tooth and we are going to put the elastic from the bottom to the cut that mm -hmm. is here on the aligner. Okay. Okay? Yep. So we've just attached um, the little button in the back now and I thought you were going to put one of the little white buttons on the front but you said, you're telling me that it's just a cut in the aligner. Exactly. Okay. This is how I'm going to ask you to wear. Now, anyway, we are going to have an next appointment and we are going to check before um, changing the aligner. Mm -hmm. But the same thing, as we can see, for example, you we, before uh, changing the aligner, you always must check that here in between the tooth and, and the um, aligner, there is no more space. Mm -hmm. It's normal to have a space now for every tooth because we just took this you just put this aligner okay on. so then so in a week i should check and make sure it looks like it's it's fitting that we don't have the gap in there exactly. yeah okay. okay okay so now it's turn my turn to put the elastics in and 
I'm not putting it on the button. I'm putting it, there's a little cut in the aligner, but I will, so I'm gonna take it from there and put it around the back. You should try to help yourself with the other, what exactly? Can I, with, can I lift it? Yeah, you can lift it a bit. And okay, well I can see it better now. Okay, here we go. All right, I've got it on, and then I go around the back. Exactly. Around like this, around the bottom of the tooth. The bottom of the tooth, yes. Around the bottom. First try. I've got my two elastics in now, and it's really important to know that there's two options. I can preload my aligners, which I will show you when I get home tonight, or I can do it like this. But now I know where the slits are. It's not that hard to do. Okay, so we are just finished. Now I've got the new tray 17 in with the elastics. And when would you like me to come back? How long do I need to leave this one on? I would like you to still wear this one for two weeks. Okay, so another two weeks for this one, so I'll come back in two weeks. All right. Today I got trays number 17, and I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a little cut right here on both sides. And I'm supposed to put my elastic bands uh, over that around the back of the tooth as you saw today and it was really hard to do when I was in the, the orthodontist chair so I tried it like this so I'm going to preload both sides of the tray like this and I'm just going to hold it down so I'm just fiddling a little bit here so I'm just holding it down like that and see now now they can't come off and I just feed it around the back. So, oh, so, sometimes it does get snapped back at you. You have to get used to it. There. And I'll do the same on the other side. I have actually gotten pretty good at putting these elastics in now. It was really complicated at the beginning and there's this little hook, but I've actually figured out I can just slide it on like that, see? It's so easy. This side is super easy because the hook she put on the back is sticking out a little bit more. And the one on the other side is the old one. And it's, it's much harder to get on. So this I can do now. I can just slide it on like that. There. That wasn't too bad. So. Thanks for watching and remember to sign up for the Invisalign playlist so you can see all of the uh, evolution of my trays. Um, if I remember correctly, this is tray 17 out of 44. All right, see you soon, bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click on the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos.